Last weekend, Oregon's Columbia Edgewater Country Club hosted the stars of the LPGA for the annual Portland Classic. Among the field was Spain's Beatrice Ricari. Still basking in the glory of her country's win in the LPGA's inaugural international crown at the end of July. The Golfing World Ambassador sat down with us for an exclusive interview to discuss the latest chapter in Spain's rich history of world-class match play golfers. Yeah, it meant a lot. I mean, we were truly underdogs, but um, I don't know. We just, uh, as soon as the week started, we felt good. We felt very confident in one another and we had the experience and, you know, it was, it was great to get that trophy, a team trophy for our country. There were eight four-player teams. The first three days were round-robin team four balls. The final day, singles. There were no captains, so for a Spanish team who played junior and amateur golf together and had three representatives from the victorious 2013 Solheim Cup team, chemistry was never going to be a problem. Yeah, I think the advantage was that, you know, we did it uh, growing up as juniors and also we were four. So when we're a small group, it's much easier to kind of organize and know, uh, you know, more or less how we're going to do things. And even though it had been many years since we last played together, uh, it all came back together and didn't even have to talk about anything. You know, we, we got in a very good rhythm and uh, very good um, dynamic on the course. Spain ended up as the international crown champions, despite a shaky start, being swept by the hometown Americans on day two. That played to an advantage, I think. I think the fact that we lost so bad on Friday uh, was like a wake-up call for us. In a barnstorming Sunday finish, Spain won all four of their singles matches to charge to the top of the standings. Beatrice certainly played her part, defeating Sweden's Michaela Palmlid 3-2. and two. Carlotta Seganda and Azahara Munoz also won their matches, and the crucial points came from Belen Mozo, with a 3 and 2 win over Maria Jutanagun. The tie missing her chance to take the match any further, completing a memorable day for Spain. For us, our country means a lot, and when we play for our country and when we see the flag and we hear the anthem, I mean, our, our blood boils, and it truly, I mean, it does, you know, it was just not uh, an expression. We feel our country and, uh, you know, we, we get very passionate and we get really motivated to, to win for our country. So, as Beatrice returns to the individual pursuit of taking on the best players in the world on the LPGA Tour, the inaugural International Crown success has her already thinking about the next new team-based event on the golfing calendar, representing Spain at the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio. I love watching the Olympics, even Winter Olympics, and I think it's such an amazing competition. And uh, what I love about it is that you play for a country. It's not so much about the individualities, which yes, I mean, you focus certain athletes here and there and you know their names, uh, but when they stand up on the podium, it's all about what flag do you represent. In. That's still two years away. Of more immediate concern for the Spaniard is the upcoming major championship at Evian and the end of season swing through Asia. But before that, our very own Cara Robinson recently made sure there was one other thing for Beatrice to take care of. And I would like to nominate one of our Golfing World Ambassadors, Beatrice Ricari, and two caddies on tour that have got far too much pleasure out of soaking Rosie and Sneds, Fooch and Scotty Vale, over to you. Let's do it. Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my gosh, I'm so cold. Hi, I'm Beatrice Zuccari. I got nominated by Kara Robson uh, to do the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. And I nominate Clay Kang, Damon Hack, and Katrina Matthews. Here we go. Oh, jeez, heavy. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! Oh my God! Wow, it's so cold. <laughs> Thank you, Kara. Now, guys, it's up, 24 hours. My lord, it's so cool.